Hello and welcome to the English class. I am Jisha Cletus Joseph, Assistant Professor of English, Nalla Narsimha Reddy Group of Institutions. Before starting the lesson, I would like to give you a brief introduction about the course. The prescribed textbook is English for Engineers by N. P. Sudarshana and C. Savita. Published by Cambridge University Press. There are five units in the book, and under each unit we have text with question and answers, vocabulary, grammar, reading, and writing skills. English has extended to all spheres of present day living. The primary objective of this course is to prepare learners to, e to use English effectively and communicate confidently, especially in the context of engineering courses. The syllabus takes into account not just the academic needs of the learners, but also the language skills required for the workplace as well as for social interaction. Five units of the book deal with five contemporary themes covering a wide range of interests. A conscious effort has been made to focus on hands-on learning through tasks, keeping theory-based teaching to the minimum. Let's move to the first unit, the Raman effect. This text is included to instill in the young minds a spirit of scientific inquiry and research. Chandrasekhar Venkataraman, C. V. Raman, was an Indian physicist who made groundbreaking works in the field of light scattering. With his student, K. S. Krishna, he discovered that when light traverses a transparent material, some of the deflected light change wavelength and amplitude. In this unit, we deal less with the actual theory of Raman effect and more with his early childhood about his education and how he developed an in interest in physics. So first we have a warm-up session here. Yes. Can you identify the following three inventors from the details provided? Around the year 1440, this man, a goldsmith by profession, introduced a printing system by creating a metal movable type and adapting the existing technologies to create imprints. By 1500, the device that he invented was in operation throughout Europe. It was used to print copies of books in large numbers. Its major advantage was that this technology considerably reduced the cost of printing. Who is he? I hope you might know the answer for this. The person here is Jonas Gutenberg. I repeat once more, Jonas Gutenberg. Now next, we have another I mean, two inventors, these brothers believed that an unstable vehicle like a flying machine was capable of being controlled better with some skill. They designed and built a gasoline engine, light and powerful enough to propel a pl plane. They built the first powered aircraft and tested it successfully on 17 December 1903. The skills they had learned from their gliding practice helped them to control the aircraft. With each flight, they covered an increased amount of distance and their final flight lasted for nearly a minute. Who are they? Now, these are quite familiar. They are the Wright, Wright brothers, W-R-I-G-H-T, Wright brothers. And... Hope you know their names. They are Orwell and Wilbur. Orwell and Wilbur. The right, known as, uh, famously known as, or commonly famously known as the Wright brothers. Now the next one is 
to the next person. On 3rd April 1973, the passers-by on the 6th Avenue in New York witnessed something very strange. An employee of Motorola making a phone call using a very big handheld device. He then walked into a scheduled press conference and called his chief competitor at AT&T, thereby announcing the arrival of the handheld portable cell phone. Who is he? So now we are all familiar with the cell phone. So, and here we are introduced to the inventor of the cell phone. Who is he? So he is Dr. Martin Cooper. So after the warming up session, as I told you earlier, now this lesson, the Raman effect is included here in the syllabus, especially to instill the spirit of scientific inquiry and research. This lesson is more about Raman, how he developed an interest in physics. So we'll straight away go into the text. Like in the year 1930, the most unexpected thing happened in the world of science. A young Indian researcher, Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman, won the Nobel Prize for Physics for his groundbreaking discovery of the phenomenon called the Raman Effect. Hailing from Trichnapalli in Tamil Nadu, Raman completed his early education in Presidency College, Chennai. Such was his interest in physics, his father had been a physics teacher, that despite clearing the civil service competitive exam, and becoming the Deputy Accountant General in Calcutta, he still found the time to pursue scientific research at the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Sciences. In 1917, he finally gave up his administrative job, administrative position to become a Professor of Physics at Calcutta University. Okay, now here we have a word groundbreaking. Groundbreaking means original and important, showing a new way of looking at things. Now here, it is we get a glimpse of Raman's childhood, early child, childhood, as well as how he described where he was born and how he developed a, an interest towards physics. His father, it is mainly because of his father who was a physics teacher. So, and the first line tells us that in 1930, something very unexpected happened. So, what was that? It was the young Indian researcher Ch C. V. Raman or Chandrasekhar Vengad Raman receiving the Nobel Prize for Physics. And why did he get the prize? For the discovery of the phenomenon called the Raman Effect. So, there we have groundbreaking. Groundbreaking means original and important. Showing a new way of looking at things. So we'll stop this with now.